friends today my topic is international day of epidemic preparedness international day of epidemic preparedness is observed on december 27th to fulfill the great need of raising awareness the exchange of information scientific knowledge and best practices and the quality education to curb the fatality of the epidemic this day encourages every individual every institution and every government to prepare its citizens in an appropriate manner and in accordance with national context and priorities through education and awareness raising activities in order to highlight the importance of the prevention of preparedness for and partnership against epidemics a resolution passed by the united nations general assembly on december 7 2020 declared december 27 to be the international day of epidemic preparedness the corona virus outbreak in china started in late 2019 as the infection rate started to rise and the count of infected people grew many parts of the city were sealed off the authorities however were unable to control the disease even though the word of the virus spread throughout the world as hospitals ran out of beds and ventilators as a result of the pandemic the flaws in the healthcare system of several countries became apparent actually there was a time when surgical masks and hand sanitizers were out of stock the united nations general assembly declared the day in order to emphasize the value of epidemic prevention readiness and cooperation the need for systems to prevent detect and respond to infectious disease outbreaks were deemed necessary in light of covid-19 the ongoing and still uncontained coronavirus covid-19 epidemic was undoubtedly the impetus for design designating a specific day for preparedness the world health organization and other governments and leaders have acknowledged the urgent need for resilient and strong health systems that can reach those who are weak circumstances and more specifically effective measures to prevent and address epidemics at the local national regional and global levels require a great deal of information sharing scientific knowledge and best practices high quality education and advocacy programs thank you if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching